My name is Danny, this is the Texas Trailhead, and I'm at Stephen F. Austin State Park. Just off of the tent campsite is the Ironwood Trail, and we're going to use that to connect to some of the other trails in the area and see how close to the river we can get. Apparently some weather a couple years back knocked out a lot of the trail systems just when they had a flood. Um, so we're going to go see, see what we can get to and um, see if I can do some fishing while we're here. So we started on the Ironwood Trail, then we went to Bard Owl, and now we're hopping over to the Sycamore Trail. The ranger that checked us in said the Sycamore Trail is where they have um, a little bit of a sandbar that gives you better river access. The river access that's on the map is actually closed, and it was really, really overgrown. So. Definitely don't recommend you trying to get onto the river at that point. So we're going to continue on. You can kind of see all the trees in the background. Really, really pleasant day. Um, and this whole area is so woody, so there's plenty of shade too. Um, but because you're close to the water, again, a little bit of humidity, but that's kind of something you're used to if you're in the Houston area anyway. So yeah, let's continue going. Just had a little bit of lunch, heading back out on the trails. The entire trail system here at Stephen F. Austin is only about six-ish miles, so if you're going to be here overnight like I am, you definitely have a pretty good opportunity to knock out all of them. I couldn't find the access to the water on the first go-round this morning, so I'm going to head back in that direction and try to figure it out. The ranger said that they were building some new trails and so what I thought was maybe old trails is I think what she meant. So I'm going to go back to that area and see if I can navigate it a little bit better. We'll see. If you listen to the Texas Trailhead podcast, then you've heard me talk about this before in a different sense. But my favorite video game is Last of Us. And this park really reminds me 
of just what it's like to walk around, to walk around in the game in Last of Us Part 1 and 2. There are just vines kind of growing over all of the trees here and so it just looks like it's an area that hasn't been manicured so just nature took back over so it's just kind of making me chuckle as I'm turning around all these different corners and seeing trees covered in vines so if you haven't listened to that episode go back just search Texas Trailhead podcast or look up Texas hiking podcasts I should come up on there too so yeah check it out So the weight of the water is actually kind of tricky. Um, you're going to be on the Sycamore Trail and then there's a little metal post that had a piece of wood sticking out from it. It looks just like an offshoot trail. It's not marked, but that is the new trail that they're working on now to give you river access. So you're going to walk down that a little bit. And the first time we did it, it just seemed kind of sketch. Like we were just walking on a, uh, like a deer path or something but I went back down it and um, the trail that we passed the first time ended up being the trail that took you right down to the water so that's what you just saw um, the view from not a whole lot of sandbar there on the bottom but still enough just to kind of sit down on the ground and just kind of watch the Brazos River float by which is kind of neat I like the bigger rivers like that the Brazos Colorado and Rio Grande are all pretty impressive so glad I went back and I'm glad I found it. I just checked out the wildlife viewing area which was not <laughs> I guess my dad said that on the uh, website it showed a picture of people staring through a fence basically and I, I didn't know the picture that he was referencing so I didn't know what he was talking about but I just walked up to the wildlife viewing area and that's how they have it set up I'm used to seeing like just a little shack with a big window to look at the birds and this is just a fence with holes rectangular holes cut out of it um so that was interesting uh, i didn't see anything but they have little kind of bird baths and running water there for the birds or other wildlife animals to play at i am making my way kind of around the park i'm on the Ooh, i just saw a big bird um i'm on the piliated trail it's 0.68 miles named after the piliated woodpecker that you can find here at the park trails here are just like crushed gravel um but this section i'm noticing i'm seeing some palmetto plants which is kind of interesting because i'm not near palmetto state park but i'm trying to look for where that bird went maybe an owl um 
yeah, so nothing, none of the trails here are too difficult. Like I said earlier, you should be able to knock out this entire park. And it's pretty enjoyable for all hiking um, experiences, so that's pretty cool too. This is definitely a kind of family-oriented park. They have a playground here, and then there is an interpretive trail that I'm not sure if I'm going to make as of right now. But if I do get to it, you'll see it in the rest of this video. So uh, I'm going to keep going and just kind of explore this park a little bit more and check out the views and just admire all of the pretty moss that I'm seeing dangling from all the trees. Thanks for coming along with me to another hike along adventure and exploring the state park. Stephen F. Austin's pretty awesome. I definitely recommend you checking it out. So until next time, grab your backpack, put on your hiking shoes, and let's go on another adventure. This is the Texas Trailhead. Gnats everywhere. <laughs>